in this video, I'm going to take you through a process on how to develop an organizing statement coming out of a four step process on focusing or narrowing down our topic, starting with the brainstorm and coming up with some categories that I can use to take to the research librarian with me. Just as a reminder, this was the this is the results or the grouping results of my brainstorm on immunization. And I had decided to focus on these key terms for my literature 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 search, HPV vaccine, patient education, and the role of nurses. Now at this point of my um, writing process, I might already have scheduled an appointment with a librarian, have a better idea, or I am waiting to meet with a research librarian. Wherever I am, this is an exercise you can, you know, I, I can do at any stage during this process. So I came up with some possible organizing statements, and I'd like to put them in question format because it helps me to kind of think about it in an inquisitive way. So up here in the right hand corner, just as a quick reminder, again, I'm focusing on HPV vaccine, patient education, role of nurses. So all of these terms should somehow find their way into my organizing statement. So number one, I came up with this. What is the role of nurses in educating patients about the HPV vaccines? Because at this point, I'm suspecting they probably play a role, and it's probably safe to assume they do, but I don't really know because I haven't really looked at the literature yet and I might not have a lot of experience in this. If you already do, then you can really write this with much more confidence. Then the next question I ask myself, well, how does patient education affect HPV vaccination rates in general and what role do nurses play? Maybe there's some other individuals, some other groups of healthcare professionals or social work professionals that affect this, you know, social workers, medical doctors, physician assistants, you know, you, may, you name it. And then lastly, I came up with this statement, um, what role do nurses play in increasing HPV vaccination rates? And that's the one that I settled with as my sort of organizing statement. And that's a really great uh, phrase to take with me also to meet with a research librarian. Again, I might have to adjust this. I might not find any literature on this topic. And then I have to go back not completely to the beginning, I can go back to my grouping of brainstorm categories, right, as I did on immunization, and just pick some other topics that might interest me and fit into the general parameters of what I have to write for in this particular course I'm writing the research paper in. Okay, so um, I also like to put my organizing statement in sort of a thesis statement format rather than a question into more of a statement, and here are three possible ways to do that. So this paper discusses the role that nurses play in increasing HPV vaccination rates, or this paper reviews the role, or this paper analyzes the role. And this depends a little bit on the focus of your paper, on the assignment instructions you might get from different instructors, uh, depending on which verb you will use. Right? These uh, discusses reviews are fairly, and analyze are fairly neutral terms. Um, if you have to present an argument, then you could say this paper argues, this paper demonstrates, this paper shows. So different verbs to do different, have different functions. But this is a great start uh, to get organized writing your paper because you have an organizing thought that will help you guide, that will help guide you through a lot of material you have to review to finally come up with a research question and the, uh, the thesis statement that will actually work. And so don't be surprised if this statement changes quite dramatically throughout your writing process. But starting off with it gives you some focus that will help you to be more organized throughout the writing process.